Oh, my daughter and all her toys. And all of my toys. And uh, I got my work cut out. But anyway, that's not why we're here. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was supposed to uh, do, make a video. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure you can. Yeah. So, anyway, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a... I'm uh, going to install a... Let's see, I just opened the door, but it's sitting on the hill, so it's not going to pop all the way open for me. It's a soft open. So here we have the uh, 2022 Ram truck, uh, 6.4 gas. This is the uh, heavy duty. Yep, so 2,500 uh, heavy duty, uh, you know, the LED. Anyway, uh, Ram pretty much uh, have the, uh, the uh, mid, this is the uh, mid trim, the Laramie. So, uh, Again, if you have the Laramie 2500, I'll still have the plastic. Still have the plastic on the uh, heated seats, all that good stuff. There's my tag right there, so I installed it too. But anyway, I purchased a Gen Y towing hitch. And I also have the uh, boat key. As you can see, I have the boat key. So, all right, guys, let's try this again. Uh, that's my, my wife leaving. Anyway, let's try this again. Can you move your truck? There we go. And that's how it's supposed to work when it's level. So anyway, back to the Gen Y hitch. Uh, real quick before I open it up, uh, I'll show you guys uh, once I open it up. But uh, I chose the uh, Gen Y hitch because uh, I needed something durable. So, uh, I mean, I can, you know, haul anything from uh, Bobcat, Skister, uh, you know, uh, you name it. And uh, I'm not trying to run through... Um, I still may, I still, you know, may very well get that. Uh, I like the way safe. I mean, I think that's neat. Uh, they also have it in black. They have the aluminum. Uh, but I, you know, to start out, I just needed something uh, durable to go with my uh, three quarter ton uh, heavy duty uh, Ram truck that, you know, you, you see here. And, uh, Anyway, let's get this thing opening. Like I say, we're gonna go over. Uh, let's go over before we get it open. Okay, so this is all of what it's supposed to have. Uh, we got this directly from the manufacturer. Uh, and by the way, those guys, uh, big shout out to those guys, man. We got that thing ordered. Those guys kept the communication going. When I say they got that thing packaged and wrapped up, and you let us know, hey, we we shipped it out. Uh, we got you guys covered. Uh, they they were on it. I mean, those guys, you know, they was they was definitely on it. Uh, by the way, Gen Y Hitch uh, made in the uh, USA, so uh, keep that in mind. Made in the USA. Where do we go? There you go. Yep. So those guys very professional, and like I say, I, I appreciate that level of uh, service. So I'm gonna make sure everything is in here because this thing is pretty heavy. By the way, it has 65 pounds on the box that it was delivered in. UPS delivered it. And uh, it was pretty, this thing is pretty heavy. So I'm going to definitely uh, subtract that from the uh, the uh, payload, okay? So again, uh, let's, let's see all of what we have. Uh, we got a 2.5 inch uh, class 5, 9 inch drop. Uh, class 5, that's definitely uh, heavy duty and uh, commercial. Uh, we got a 3,000 pound tongue weight. Uh, for those of you who don't know the tongue weight, I mean, it's, it's like the hitch ball. That's where all of that weight gonna go when you when you have a traveling uh, trailer and all that weight is on that ball. You don't want that ball to break. And also, it's twenty one thousand uh, pound towing capacity. That's the hitch itself, you know, including the shank. And then uh, it also includes the um, hitch, the uh, pencil, and a versa ball. So you got the uh, two and five sixteen inch, and you also have the uh, two inch uh, versa ball, so you can change it, you know, uh, as needed. So, all right, let's get this guy open. Let's get this box open and uh, let's see what we got. 
All right, guys, we got it open, and uh, let's see. This is how it comes. All right. So you got like a what, sticker and uh, got some information here. You got some literature, and uh, it comes to Ram Wrap. Right, so let's get it open. Okay, guys, uh, we got it out. And when I say this thing is heavy, this thing is solid as a rock. Look. It's solid. <laughs> it's very, this thing is heavy. You do you do? This thing is heavy, man. I mean, to be a hitch. I mean, compared to my old one, off of my fifteen hundred, I'll show you real quick. So this is my old Reese right here, and that um, uh, this is um, uh, that's two inch, and uh, this is uh sixteen six uh thousand pounds. But uh, fits two inch receiver, six thousand uh, pound capacity, uh, and a one inch uh, mountain hole. Jeez, a two a two inch drop. Now again, this is a nine inch drop, and when I say solid, it's a class five guys. So like I say, man, uh, I'm sure again, man, I got a three quarter ton truck, so uh, this should very much do the job, man. But uh. Again, uh, whoo! I like the whole idea of having these different uh, two-inch shank holes. That way, I can put a bicycle rack or uh, whatever else I, I need to uh, put. But uh, that thing is very heavy, man. Yep, yep, yep. In fact, I'm gonna put it on the scale, man. And uh, I was, I was under the impression it was like 40, 45 pounds, man. This thing got to be 65 pounds, like yeah, like 65 pounds. So. Uh, I keep you guys uh, updated, man. But uh, in fact, let let me slide it on and uh, let's see what we got because this is my uh, again. This is off of my fifteen hundred. Like I said, I didn't pull much, but a uh, 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 five eight uh, trailer with a zero turn, and that was about it. But like I say, uh, I do have the uh, fifth wheel package on this round twenty five hundred. I'm looking to. Uh, I, I, I I like the idea of having the options of a fifth wheel gooseneck and. Uh, a travel trailer and uh I think this would definitely uh hold up right here and uh I'm still strongly considering that uh way safe. I think I'm gonna have that way safe for backup. Uh get the uh, aluminum way safe or either the uh nine ten inch drop uh uh way safe. So again this is my uh old Reese two inch and then this is uh adapter right here uh two uh two and a half inch and uh down here on my truck uh Let's see what we got. Uh, that's a that's a three inch uh, receiver right there uh, for the uh, shank, and uh, again, it's gonna uh, you know uh, I'm I'm not gonna just ride around with that with that uh, monster on the back of my truck unless I need it, you know. So I, I definitely keep it uh keep it inside the truck. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, uh, j you know, just yet, but. Uh, Again, man, that thing is pretty durable, man. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't need a, uh, no, uh, no, no hitch uh, anytime soon. But uh, in fact, let me, let's try it out. Let's, let's put it on. And let's see how it look. There, guys. It's a lot better once you, uh, once you take that uh, Versa ball off and that pencil off. It's a lot better. You know, I wish they had it in black. That would, that would have been awesome. But, uh. I think the paint that they use is to keep it from uh, rusting, so it's supposed to be like rust free. And uh, like I say, uh, it's not it's not so bad once you take the uh, pencil and the uh, here's the uh, pencil right here. That's if you you know uh, hauling like a ring or something, uh, you know some type of hook. What yeah ring. And uh, here's the uh, Versa ball right here. Of course, you got the uh, two inch and uh, the uh, two and five sixteen but yeah guys uh again uh you know i slide that you know slide it in it's a, it's a nine inch drop and like i say the truck sit up pretty high but uh i do have like at least uh 14 to 15 inches away from the ground you know to keep from uh uh, uh, uh interference you know what i mean i didn't want i didn't need it to drop too low i think this is uh more than fair right here the nine inch drop uh, 10, man, but yeah, 10 probably would have been ideal, but 
nine inch i mean hey but uh again uh this is my gen y uh hitch for my uh 2500 ram 2022 uh 6.4 hemi and uh this is how it looks uh let's uh put that versa ball on there and then uh like i say that penta but uh this is something i definitely don't just want to ride around with uh so you know depending on what i'm hauling like i said i definitely got to uh subtract that from my yard uh, payload cuz it takes away from the payload so and this is it with the uh, versa ball on it so yeah yeah see my mini bike uh yeah, we just purchased uh, 17 and a half acres, so I got a track of land, man. I'll be able to go out and hunt on my parcel. <laughs> so I definitely got to get ready for a camper. So I have an option now if I would like to use a travel trailer. But I know some would say, why would you use a travel trailer when you can, when you have the fifth wheel package right here? You got the fifth wheel package, man. We're just going to get the fifth wheel. Like I say, man, options. So, uh, yeah, man, keep you guys updated. All right, guys, let me uh, give you, uh, well, this is the update I was talking about. So uh, it says, uh, insert your key, step one, turn once, it learns your key. That's some new technology. Uh, this has been my first time using this uh, bolt key, uh, this bolt hitch key. And so, uh, yeah, I got to make sure it works. So I'm going to open it up and let's see what we got. Okay, guys, got the uh, bolt hitch key uh, open. Here it is right here. So here's the uh, simple instructions. Tear off lock seal. Okay. Uh, number two, insert key fully. Number three, rotate key clockwise until it stops. So tear off the lock seal. So... It's clearly, once you open the cap, this is the uh, lock seal, clearly. Okay. So I just uh, peel the uh, plastic off in uh, this right here. Uh, this got to be the lock seal. Just tear it off with my thumb. All right, so we got the uh, lock key. I uh, got the, uh, the seal off. All right, so uh, we're gonna insert key fully and rotate key clockwise until it stops. Uh, there's my wife, she made it back. Okay, and here's my key. I gotta push my start, take the key out and I'm gonna insert it. And here and turn clockwise until it stops. All right, guys, it's, it's been done. Uh, again, we're going to uh, tow off the uh, lock seal, uh, inserted the uh, key fully, and we rotated it clockwise until it stopped. And you know, the, uh, the crazy thing about this is, even if I wanted to sell it, I get rid of it. Now it's like customized. Uh, it's customized to my truck now so let me uh, again put it on and, uh, by the way there's the uh, pencil and there's the uh, versa ball so uh, I got the uh, actual bolt hitch on so here we go alright guys it's a wrap there you go uh, just as they said man uh, you know you take that seal off put that key in uh, turn clockwise and there she go gen y hitch ram 2500 heavy duty three quarter ton the gen y hitch man yep this thing pretty doable right here Woo! it's rock and roll all right till next time guys